what are the three most common mistakes that people make in either learning or practicing NLP or any other uh, conversational uh, technique like negotiation, like mediation or anything like that? What are the three most common mistakes? Well, the most common mistake is, is people put themselves in a place of a lot of newness and a lot of discomfort. And so basically, when you're so uncomfortable or so not competent yet, you're still practicing in any kind of modality, is, is that you need to make things simpler. Maybe you can stay in 70% comfort and 30% discomfort, or maybe 80-20 is a better balance for you where the 20 or 30% where you're uncomfortable, you're learning, improving, and the 70 and 80% of comfort allows you to stay steady and grounded. And so how can you take this little technique or the technique that you learned and simplify it, maybe use part of it? And so, for instance, if you have learned um, to use uh, language to light up the brain like a Christmas tree using NLP, Rather than focusing on everything and everyone, why don't you just focus on spotting and using some visual language? Forget about auditory, forget about kinesthetic, forget about olfactory and gustatory, forget about the Milton model, the meta model, all that different stuff. Make it simply stay within comfort. And then you can build out from there. The second biggest mistake that people make in applying or learning or practicing NLP is that they go into a conversation and become so focused on what they're practicing or using is that they forget simple things like listening, like looking at someone's facial expressions, actually paying attention to their nonverbal language paying attention to other things that maybe relate to other parts of NLP. We stop acting like normal human beings and we become so focused on that thing that we're practicing that that gets into the foreground and everything else that is also even, even more important goes into the background. And then what happens is our brains get scrambled, doesn't know what to do, doesn't know how to, to navigate that, <laughs> and doesn't know how to navigate that, and goes from there. So what would happen if you put the practice of the NLP technique in the background and you put the other person and what they're about in the foreground? So it's sort of like when you look at me over here, I'm in the foreground and the ocean here at Venice Beach, I'm right around the block of the training venue uh, of the Los Angeles training venue over here. We also train on the beach in Mexico, in a villa there. We train in Ubud on Bali, we train in Amsterdam. Also thinking of opening some new locations and we train online. 1500 free resources at globalnlptraining.com backslash simply if you wanna go look at that. Anyway, so what you put in the background is the NLP technique. What you put in the foreground is the other person and what they're saying and what you're practicing. And you'll notice that, especially if you apply that comfort that I talked about in the first step, if you start paying attention to that, and then you'll notice that the results are much different. You'll notice that you're actually, your NLP skill is still practiced and honed and all of those different things, but it actually allows that brain to be calm and unscrambled and, and not disoriented and trying to switch back and forth. The third way to best learn NLP is pick the best NLP training company. Not only do you want to have legitimacy, but you really want to pay close attention to where you're training, not just with who you're training, because that's what people do really well, but where are you training? Are you training into a shitty uh, airport hotel at a Four Point Sheraton or a Marriott uh, Courtyard or an Ibis Hotel or something weird like that? 
or are you training in a beautiful location, in a beautiful villa, and in a small group with a lot of personal attention? Those are things that are really important too. So, you know, other than legitimacy, the legitimacy of certification, having a top-notch trainer, and lastly, always make sure that you watch your trainer online. If your trainer doesn't have proper videos online, you don't know who you are going to train with. So see you around and grab um, a free NLP visualization on our website at globalnlptraining.com backslash simply. It combines the only scientific way of goal setting with NLP and positive psychology. See you around.